I was thinking about this guy where I used to work. I'm just going to call him Dan because I don't want to say his real name. Dan is a weirdo, right? And by that, I mean he was, he was just kind of dumb. And I worked at Michael's Frame Shop at the time. That's where I worked with Dan. And there was this Chinese lady who had done this painting in one of the classes at Michael's, right? And she brought it over to us to get it framed. And uh, I was telling her, you know, the kind of things that she could do. And it was all kind of expensive because she had just painted this painting of this man. And it wasn't a big deal. She didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. And so I said, well, you know, we have these ready-made frames. This is a standard size. We have these ready-made frames over there. You can go get one of them, and we can get it put together for you. Real inexpensive. So that's what she did. She went and left and went to look at some frames. Well, when she got back, I was busy with something else, and Dan caught up with her, right? And like I said, she's a Chinese lady, and she's showing him the frame, and the, she had some choices, I think, of frames and mats and stuff. She was trying to get, you know, decide what she wanted to do. And Dan looks at it and goes, is your husband? Right? <laughs> and, uh, She's looking at him, of course, you know, like, the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm like, Duh! all of a sudden, so I rush over there. And the thing is, I know he wasn't trying to be racist, he's just dumb. He thought, since she's Chinese, if you put on fake accent and nod your head like this, Chinese people understand you better. Talk like broken English Chinese people in TV and movie. They understand you better. And smile. Squint your eye. That's what he was thinking. And so, of course, she saw it as racist. I run over there, I'm like, oh, I got it, I got it, Dan. I was, I was already working with her, you know? I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> thinking, like, ah, like I said, I know he wasn't trying to be racist. Although maybe, I don't know, really. I don't know, he was kind of perhaps bigoted. Because he also had both of his ears pierced, right? Which, I don't care, I have both my ears pierced. And he had these, like, these shiny, look like big diamond studs. I don't know what it was, really, but like big diamond studs, right, in both of his ears, <clears throat> which is fine, and I, I didn't know, maybe he's gay or whatever, I didn't know, I didn't really know him that well, but apparently he wasn't gay, because one day he comes in, and he had his earrings out, and I was like, oh, you took your earrings out, just casually, and he goes, yeah, I got tired of looking like a faggot, uh, so I, uh, okay, you know, <laughs> wow, that came out of left field, obviously there's a backstory behind that one, you know, like, somebody said something offensive to him about his earrings apparently or something but yeah he was just he was a piece of work I got other stories I can tell about him I just can't think of anything off the top of my head I was just thinking about the whole dead Chinese thing that just blew me away <laughs> I know you can hear my damn eyebrows boink you know at the time <laughs> I had to run over and do damage control on that one